Hey guys, this is Misty from Adamson Equestrian and today I'm going to be talking to you about my horse's feet. Okay guys, so this is my horse Tino. I've had him since May, so not quite a year yet. The biggest problem that we've been having with his feet is that they don't really grow in the right direction, which my father-in-law is going to talk to you about because he does all of our farrier work. And then we also have issues with dryness. Part of the problem is he doesn't go outside because he's a show pony. He stands in a dry stall and then when he goes out to play in the indoor arena, he stands on the sand. So he doesn't really get that natural moisture that he would if he was out in the paddock. So I'm going to have Bruce talk to you a little bit about the way his feet have been growing and then we'll talk to you about the product that we use to put on his hooves for dryness. So take it away Bruce. <laughs> what I'd like to talk to you about is when the horse first arrived, uh, he was very short on his toes. Um, he has uh, had a habit of wearing the front of his toes off and so he got sore in the front of his feet. What I did was uh, drop his heels down a little bit and I shooed him and allowed his toes to grow out some and allowed there to be more space and cushion and that the appropriate angle when his foot would hit it wouldn't be jamming his, his uh, inner foot into his toe. With Tino's rear feet he also had a situation where the inside of his foot is not growing as fast as the outside of the foot. So what I do is I've been trying to trim more on the outside and less on the inside which just makes sense so that we can balance the foot out. Um, and when he came his foot was, was, was leaning this direction and we've got him almost straight on his left foot, his right foot still has a ways to go. But we're working with him and we should have that corrected by the spring. Super. And then, um, Bruce, can you talk to us a little bit about why it's important to keep your horses hooves moisturized in the wintertime? Yes. Um, in the wintertime and also in the late fall when things are dry, the hoof actually dries out. And you'll see that a lot in your horses when they're splitting or they're cracking, uh, chipping off if you don't keep them shod. Uh, the important thing is to keep them hydrated, uh, the outside and the inside of the hoof. Actually the frog also area of the foot needs to be hydrated also. Uh, again, if they were in the wild they'd be finding a nice wet spot to stand in from time to time to keep their, feet, their own feet hydrated. But since we're, we have them in stalls, domesticated horses don't have the same access. Uh, so hydration is very important that allows them to have flexibility and not dry up and chip. Okay. So I want to stress that I did not buy this product. This was given to me by Canine Horse, which is a grooming company from Sweden. Uh, we actually ran into them at Arabian Nationals a few weeks ago and they gave me a few of their products to try out. So I've already been using this for a couple of uh, days. So I've already been putting it on Tino's feet. But I think it's probably going to take probably a few weeks to notice a difference as far as the dryness in his hooves. So I'm just going to show you how I apply it and we'll go from there. One of the things that I really like about this product even before I started using it was the fact that it has this pump on it. The other product that I've been using on Tino's feet, A, didn't really work super great because he's still got dry feet, and B, whenever you unscrew it and then you brush it on your horse's hooves, you get down to the bottom so you get all the sawdust and the dirt on it and then you stick it back in the product so all the sawdust and dirt gets on the inside. All of that bacteria and stuff from the dirt and the ground is going into the product. So that's one thing that I like about this because no dirt and stuff gets back into your stuff. So they send you home with a little brush to actually apply it. This one's getting kind of grody because I've used it a few times, but you can wash it off or just use a sponge or something that you can wash. Okay guys, so I've already picked out Tino's front foot. <laughs> He's moving around. And I'm gonna go ahead and apply the product to the underside part of his hoof. So stay there, bud. I just apply it to the brush. You apply it to the underside part of his foot, his frog this back part that gets super duper dry. 
I just learned the farrier way of holding your horse's hoof. I think I'm doing okay, right? <laughs> so I'm gonna let his foot down. And I'm just gonna put some on the front part. And that's it. So we'll put this on for a few weeks and see how he does. And then we'll be sure to do a after video so you can see how much better his feet look. So stay tuned. <laughs> no hoofs, no horse. Exactly. I hope you got something out of this week's video. If you have questions, leave them in the comments and be sure to hit that subscribe button. You might also want to hit that bell so it'll show you whenever I put out new content. And uh, yeah, happy riding and have a good week.